Yo, welcome back to the channel. And Roadrunner is right, right here at the wheel bearing. I mean, at this wheel. At the wheel bearing on yesterday. As you can see in the other video, I paid the big homie to do it. New, new hood bearing. No more squeaking, no more clacking, no more none of that bullshit. No more praying, making, you know, praying every day when I leave out for work. Saying, please God, you know, uh, let me get to work today. Don't let my wheel come off today. No more of that shit. No, I ain't got to hit nothing. No chicken heads, no crack heads, no, no pill popping females, no pill popping niggas, no, 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 no people from with money that ain't even theirs front like they ain't got no none of that. Just straight V8 power that I hear. That's all that I hear now. Now I believe I'm gonna go ahead. I think I'm just gonna go ahead and start replacing all these wheel bearings. Uh, but yeah, that wheel bearing was a bitch to come out because that was the OG hood bearing. And this car is a 07. And it's been in there since 07. So that was the OG wheel bearing. And the big homie told me, he said, man, when I went to him today, I say, hey, Ty, I say, how much you going to, I, I say, in the coming weeks, why give me another wheel bearing, how much you going to charge me? I said, I already know the price going to go up after working with that one yesterday. Me, the owner, and Ty, we was all beating on it. Eventually, it popped out. He said, man, I should have charged you $100 because that motherfucker was hard. You know, it's beating it out what was hard instead of the $60. I say, man, tell me whatever price you want for the job. I say, not give it to you. I say, because every price, whatever price they give you at the shop or like when I work there, whatever price I give you or I give somebody or they give somebody, it's always cheaper compared to other shops. Now, if I had went to another shop to get that bearing done, they would have talked about, yeah, it's $250 to do it. That's what they would have said. But I didn't need the spindle like I originally thought. And the, and the owner originally originally thought. I didn't need the spindle. Just needed a bearing. Um, I said, fuck it. Just go ahead and replace the, the, the spindle too. But big homie said, if I replace the spindle, the OG tire rod, the stabilizer pin is under there. He said, I would have to get new ones. He said, because he see, it wasn't for sure if he could save them, you know, because they've been there. And they might strip, but he told me, he said, man, what you need to do is just go ahead and buy you a hood bearing. He said, that's all you need. Go ahead and buy you a hood bearing. I called Maverick. I don't really like shopping with Maverick. They didn't have none. O'Reilly's didn't have none. All of them talking about they had to order and it wouldn't be in a Monday. I called one auto zone that was close to me, close to the shop. They didn't have it. They said they would have to order. I said, man, who got? Who the hell got the hood bearing? And he told me Grand and Harlem got that's like a mile and a half, two miles away from the shop. So I paid another old timer to take me up there. I asked him, would he take me up there? He said, yeah. He was like, come on, young blood, let's go and get it so we can get your car right. So I went on here and threw 10 his way, you know, for the gas. He, even though he said he wasn't expecting it, but he was taking care of me so I can go ahead and get this bearing, so I can go ahead and get this car back going. So I took care of him. He looked out for me, I looked out for him. That's the way you do it. Somebody scratch your back, you scratch this. So they had the bearing. Um, it was 86 bucks with taxes. And here in Chicago, Illinois, taxes is a bitch. So it came out to 92 bucks with taxes. I got that. That is out of the way. That is off of my mind. Now when I go to work every morning and when I'm on the highway, I, I'm always doing 80 on the highway now when I, when um I'm not on when I'm on the highway I don't have to slow down and do like 50 60 around curves paranoid about the wheel coming off no none of that ain't nobody y'all look at me no more cuz they can hear me ain't, ain't, ain't none of that you know I I can I can creep back up on on a motherfucker now if I want to creep up on a motherfucker I can creep back up on a motherfucker now they ain't got to hear me coming Man, that's why I like. But yeah, it, it, it just feels so good and this wheel feels so right now. 
I'm gonna replace that one next, the front right one next. I'm gonna replace the right one. My hood, my ABS light still on, but I think it's gonna be that one, that other front one I replace soon to make it go out because I might have more than one bad one. So, damn, I put the car down in second gear. Ain't towing. But the motor. But man, you know, it, it just feels so good. My wheel feels all right. My pedals feels all right. I don't have to, you know, feel that clicking and clacking in my pedal no more, and my gas pedal no more. Uh, it just feels so fucking right. It's the way I want my cars. I want, and plus I paid big homie because I want it done right. And um, you know me, I'm still learning. I never did a hood bearing before, so it would have took me longer. And I'm paranoid. I see, I'm a rider. I'm paranoid. I might have not did something right, and. Let's say a boat come out and a wheel come off while I'm doing 80, 90, even up until the 100, 100 mark. Uh, it's game over. I don't want that. I'm a rider. I want it done right. You know, so. You know, so. Uh. That's why I went on here and paid him. Like, you know, yeah, it might have hurt my pockets a little bit. But hell, at least it's right. At least I ain't got to worry about my wheel coming off. At least I ain't got to worry about leaving some, a boat or something out. I ain't got to worry about that shit. Because I know he did it right. So, man, I just feel so goddamn relieved. But he said he should have charged me 100 bucks. Probably next time he gonna charge me 100 bucks compared to the 60 that the old head said the price is. I don't give a shit. He tell me $100, AT Dizzle. Here you go. Here go the Huncho. You know, go on, get to it. You know, I don't mind the price. I don't give a fuck about the price. Like I said, it's better than other shops. So, uh, that's all for this video, fellas. Like, comment, subscribe. I catch y'all in the next video. Finna continue to have fun and enjoy riding quiet again. All right, fellas.